I've been thinking about running for office. That's why I'm wearing a tie right now for the show to announce my candidacy for the mayor of Boston since this this bitch is throwing non-white inv invitation parties for Christmas. For Christmas? Yeah. What kind of Christmas spirit is that? For Christmas? It's an Anglo holiday. Yeah, that's right. Chinese people, instead of Christmas, they can't even pronounce it. Now, here's Lots. here's the... The common trend, of course, the most anti-white people on the planet who happen to have a vagina will always, always have a white boyfriend or husband. And uh, this mayor of Boston, she's this no she's exception. That. Uh, Her yeah, husband looks like a fucking fish. I'd hate white people, too, if that was my husband. <laughs> God damn. He looks straight up retarded. He looks like like a Tim Robinson character. You know, uh -huh. let's look for this guy. Poor guy. Oh, Michelle Wu. Wait, she won? She won. She's the first woman of color mayor of Boston. First woman mayor of Boston as well. Connor so. Powerski. She's been apologizing for having the email sent out to all. This is the funny thing. This is this is a great uh, tactic, I guess. They accidentally sent the email out to all of the city council members, not just the POC ones. And she didn't apologize for throwing the party. She th she apologized for sending the invitation out. She said, oh, we it was just an honest mistake. The invitation was not supposed to go out to everybody. Um, we don't need to see your kids. Let's take a look at this one oh, with the black backdrop here. This picture here. Jesus fucking Christ. This is just like the most stereotypical white male Asian female couple you could imagine, you know. This is this is he, gross. Yeah, he has a good job, so he's her dad approves of him because he's got money. <laughs> yeah, but that's the only reason why. Look at this; he looks very comfortable and not and, out of place. Any any time you do see these poli like female politicians, their significant others are always like. Okay, yeah, this makes sense. It makes sense that she wears the pants in the family. Isn't AOC's husband also like a, a skinny ginger guy? Mm, I wouldn't say skinny. He looks like Ben Kissel. So there's oh. that guy. Yeah. Well, he looks different there. I remember this photo. <laughs> Where it was just like, oh, he's just like a little... Um, what is that show? Uh, um... With the Matt, Matt Crisping character, Christmas, Matt Christmas. What Chapo is that? Chapo Trap House. Lefty? Yeah, he looks very Chapo. He looks extremely Chapo. Same, uh, the same deal with uh, Ilan Omar. Her husband or boyfriend is a white guy. Uh, Kamala Harris, her husband. Same deal. There you go. Uh, MC Search. <laughs> yeah okay. so it's just yeah yeah but yeah good luck with your campaign i'll help you with the thank you i don't even know when the election ads. is i think it's i think it's next year when was the last boston, time you voted in the boston mayoral election election 2024 i think it was it might be 2025 no it's 2025 all right so i got about a year a little bit more than a year to prep this mayoral campaign, I can take back the city of Boston. Yeah, and the uh, the only reason why you're doing this is so that the government doesn't sue you for the mass state lottery. <laughs> you, I don't like you can't. <laughs> everybody knows you can't sue the mayor. If I'm right. the if I'm the mayor of the city, I basically am the lottery. That's me. Yeah, that's me. Uh, you know, taking over the system from the outside. So yeah. it's my last and hope. I'm a lot like President Trump in that way, where it's like. I either win or I go to prison for the rest of my life. And we can go and shoot some B-roll of like the balls going into that. Yeah, we'll do thing. Oz. More. Yeah, 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 yeah. More of that. More scenes of the actual lottery that has nothing to do with, <laughs> with anything anymore.